This is number 31 uh, on well, chapter uh, 7, Momentum. Uh, this question involves a uh, pendulum and a bullet. And the question asks is how high or no, not how high, but how how much horizontal dis well, not from here. How much horizontal distance when the block of wood swings up from the impact of the bullet? How um, how much horizontal distance uh, did it travel? So in order to figure this out, we need to figure out how much vertical distance it traveled first. So we'll just use conservation of momentum, and we'll say the mass of the, I'll call this the wood, and I'll call this the bullet. So initially, there's just simply the momentum when the bullet comes in, it's uh, MBVB. There's no, the, the wood isn't moving. So then afterwards, we'll say, uh, when they, the bullet embeds itself in the question. It says the 20 gram bullet traveling 250 meters per second uh, buries itself in a 3.8 kilogram pendulum hanging on a 2.3 meter long string. How far does the pendulum swing horizontally? So um, in this case here we'd have the mass of the wood and then we have the couple velocity. Now we know, so what are we given, right? The mass of the bullet is given. The velocity of the bullet is given. Uh, that's 20 grams for the mass and two, uh, 250 meters per second for the bullet. The, oops, yeah. The mass of the wood is also given. And um, what else is given? Oh, yeah. And this thing is... Uh, 2.3 meters. So basically, you know the length of the pendulum. So essentially now, we can calculate VC. So you get VC by simply, right, like this. I know the mass of the bullet's very small, so it's really not going to make much of a difference in your calculation uh, on the bottom, but that's okay. So um, now you've got the couple velocity. Now what you do is you use conservation of energy. Okay? And once you have the VC, then you would say, okay, well, initial energy is kinetic energy, and final energy is going to be gravitational potential energy. And so you'd say 1 half mv squared equals mgh. And, and now the masses are the same in this case because it's both cases, it's the, it's the block. And in this case, you know that V is VC, and we just calculated that here. So you can calculate H, and H is simply going to be here um, VC squared divided by uh, 2G, right? Because VC squared is on the top, divided by 2G will give you H. So now, but the problem here is that it doesn't ask for h. It asks for the horizontal distance. So now we have to do a little bit of geometry. So here is the you know, pendulum cord length. Okay. Now let's just say this is L. Now I know it's 2.3. But then when it's fully swung and stopped, this is also going to be L. So this is also L. Okay. So they're the same length. However, what you know now is that what we're trying to find this horizontal distance, let's call it x. Okay? But now what is this distance here? Remember, this distance is h. Because h is uh, how far it went up, right? So this, like I said, this is h. So that means this distance here, okay, is, so if I draw the triangle kind of again, right, this is x, 
this side now is L minus H, right? Because the full distance is L. And so therefore, j just for this triangle here, it's L minus H. And now you also know that this is L, right? Because from here to the end of the pendulum, that length doesn't change. That's a constant length. So now, essentially, what you have is Pythagoras. So if you want to find x, you would just go L squared minus, right, L minus h squared, and then you take the square root, and that's going to give you x, which is the horizontal distance. And L, we know, L was 2.3, and h you can calculate from conservation of momentum and conservation of energy. And that's how you get x.